Well, before I conclude the performance of this book, I'd like to take you back uh, to one of the photographs and suggest you get the book, beautiful photographs, coffee table book. Uh, let's put a face to, to torture. I'd like to put a little face to this. I was talking about the Phnom Penh prison and uh, where 17,000 human beings were tortured to death. This is what it looks like. One of the harder pictures I've taken in my life. And since I'm here, this is how I record the world. Anything? <laughs> this is my shack, off the good shack in Hawaii. And uh, you can see just what a lovely. I'm so glad to be able to live in this gorgeous nature. Well, uh, okay. So what happened? Uh, after I took my stand for Earth People, the coming of the Earth People in 1971, 50 years later, <laughs> well, here I am, uh, you know, 22 to 72, I remain true to my vision. I never stopped living as an earth person legally, never took the citizenship of any nation. Uh, yeah, earth person head to toe. <laughs> Since I walked into the embassy in India 50 years ago. Okay, what happened? All right, uh, in 1973, I fell in love with this gorgeous female hippie named Keith. She lived in, uh, on the scene for many years, five years. She'd fly to Japan and work there, get enough money to hang out with the hippie tribe in Kathmandu and go for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. Fell in love. And we traveled together to Nepal. Well, without a passport, I bribed my way into Nepal with a hundred rupee note. 12 bucks got me into the country. And my girlfriend and I moved into the wavy gravy hog farm uh, community house near Bodenoth. World Heritage, 16th century Tibetan temple stupa. Oh my God. Well, Keith and I trekked through the exquisite Himalayas from Kathmandu to Mount Everest up to 18,000 feet, took two months, and uh, the rhododendrons were blooming. Rhododendrons, national flower of Nepal. Pink, yellow, white rhododendrons all over the place. Keith and I got married at Tengboche Monastery by the Rinpoche there, and uh, at 3,800 meters in the Mount Everest region. Well, <laughs> we made love with abandon and <laughs> the natural consequence, Keith got pregnant. Tragically, Keith experienced a spontaneous abortion mm. well along into her pregnancy. Unceremoniously, our baby went down the toilet. Well, utter desperation, utter depression. I've never seen a human being so depressed as Keith was after losing our child. Mm -hmm. So I encourage her to fly back to New York City to live with her parents on Long Island in New York City. And uh, she'd been away for many, many years. Her folks were so happy to see her. Uh, look, we're both world travel fatigued, you know, and both 26 years old at this time. Well, I'm alone in Kathmandu, and so I approached the American Embassy, so see if I can get back to the States to join my wife and to give my parents a hug in Saginaw, Michigan. Haven't seen them for five years either. 
American Embassy uh -huh, looks at my situation and issues me a one-page travel document with my photograph on it. Good for uh, a one-way only trip from Kathmandu to New York City. Mm -hmm. Well, at JFK, the immigration authorities are waiting for me. <laughs> Ironic twist. To my utter astonishment, the immigration agent hands me, what? A green card with my picture on it? An alien's registration permanent residency card with my picture on it? I never applied for one. I guess uh, I'm granted permanent residency, like, on the spot? Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Um, and <laughs> look at the, uh, it records the, the, the country of birth, USA. <laughs> yeah, green card, born in USA. I'm a freak. Now the world's trying to figure out what to do with me. What? He says he's an earth person? Ah. Yeah. This phenomena of unexpected, paradoxical empowerments become commonplace in my life. Hmm. U.S. government tracked me for years. Yeah. And... I suspect they have concluded that I belong in their uh, specially reserved uh, nut file. <laughs> Which is a pretty safe place to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look, at, let me talk straight up here. Uh, you know, my global production number. I'm an earth person. <laughs> Clip my wings, yeah, mm-hmm, but not completely. Mm -hmm. Well, in 1973, as I become oriented to being what? <laughs> the original first Earth person? Um, haven't gone insane yet. <clears throat> uh, I discover, guess what? I'm legally eligible as a stateless person for an international travel document <laughs> for stateless persons based on the UN Declaration of Human Rights. Everyone has a right to travel, return to their country, and you get know, all that. You know, so, uh, uh, political theater of the absurd. <laughs> yeah, why? Because I find myself a refugee in the country I was born in. Mm hmm. I just smoke government computers. They have no categories for people like me. <laughs>